Speaker wa bunge la Senate Ken Lusaka amepinga juhudi za sehemu ya wanasiasa kutaka kuwe na kura ya maamuzi ili kubadilisha katiba. Kizungumza baada ya ibada katika kanisa la God's Apostolic House Machakos, Lusaka amesema wanasiasa wanatakiwa kujiepusha na siasa za kura ya maamuzi na kutafuta mbinu ya kuiana. So how the country was polarized and our leaders did make a great step of reuniting the country, healing the country, and uh, therefore calls for a referendum now will divide us further. Actually, we'll get into an electioneering mood until 2022. We'll not even achieve these things that we're talking about, agenda, agenda, the, the four agenda that has been set by the president. So we are saying, yes, if the constitution must be looked at, okay, well, it's a living document, but this is the wrong timing. The timing is wrong. We need to focus now on development. We need to focus on uh, making sure that the people who voted for the leaders start now realizing the fruits. Otherwise, this will derail us. Wabunge kutoka katika kaunti ya Migori wamesema kwamba licha ya Rais Uhuru Kenyatta kuhamasisha watu dhidi ya kutoa wito wa kutaka kuwepo kwa kura ya maamuzi ya kubadilisha sehemu za katiba wataendelea kushinikiza katiba ifanyiwe marekebisho. Wabunge hao waliokuwa kizungumza rongo wakijumuisha mbunge wa eneo hilo Paul Abor, Mark Namita wa Uriri, Tom Odege wa Nyatike, mwakilishi wa kike wa Migori Dr. Pamela Odhiambo na mbunge wa Kuria Mashariki Marwa Kiatama mesema ili ajenda kuu nne za jubilizi faulu lazima kuwe na mikakati ya kubadilisha katiba hii maneno ya referanda let us not misunderstand our leaders the president has a legacy to deliver to the people of Kenya and himself he needs that legacy to follow him into retirement anasema wa Kenya wote tumsupport wakati huu ili to deliver on the four agenda ambazo anaona ni muhimu na sisi wote tumekubali. Muda wa kuzungumza siasa utakuja. Muda wa referendum utakuja. Lakini pia on the same breath the president and the people's president wamekaa pamoja wakatiarisha team ambaye inazungumza mambo ya uiano na maneno mengine yote. The president must support his agenda because he wants to live a legacy. But we also know that beyond that legacy that the president wants to leave, we must have a country that is going to guard that legacy. So, Mwana Rais, mimi nasema wato magazeti labda walisema vipaya vile wawo ulisema. Kwa sababu wata wewe mali unajua, mali unalala, wewe unajua hile parenta menenda kupanyika. I think both our presidents, Uhuru Kenyata, and Aila Mono Jinga, they acknowledge that there are some issues with our country that need to be resolved once and forever. Some of those resolutions cannot take place if we don't have a referendum to change certain sections of our constitution. The issue of referendum is not about individuals. This is a demand coming from the people of Kenya. So, regardless of what you are reading and what you are hearing, this government is for the people and must be for the people and by the people. 